Greetings fellow detectives, Wizard Kitten here bringing you a new build in my series Building Nancy Drew in The Sims 4. Today I am bringing you a recreation of the Dread Isle Ecotourism Resort in Nancy Drew Ransom of the Seven Ships. I wanted to do this one especially since we got the rental lots available so now with the newest update and with the release of The Sims 4 or snowy escape you can now have rental lots in any of the residential worlds in addition to the already provided vacation worlds of like granite falls and selva dorada so now you can make beautiful vacation homes in sulani which i think sulani is perfect for this kind of thing i've been wanting to make rental homes anyway for this world, so the Dread Isle Ecotourism Resort just seemed perfect for this, especially since it is one of the recreations that I haven't yet done, and I am trying to do a recreation from every single Nancy Drew game, so I was happy to check another one off the list. Ransom of the Seven Ships is not one of my favorite games. It um, historically has been the second lowest until Midnight in Salem came out, and now it is the third lowest as far as actual gameplay goes. And then there is also uh, the fact that the game has been discontinued on the Her Interactive website uh, due to some cultural appropriation, some potential blackface. So the game itself is no longer being sold um, because of all of those problems, but it is still a part of the Nancy Drew series and being a completionist, I did still want to do a recreation of it for this series since it is technically still part of this series and it is a game that I did grow up playing definitely still um, not okay with the portrayals um, that the game was taken down for but I did still want to do a recreation for it so here it is I basically just ended up using a ton of island living stuff for this build. I worked on the main area of the resort itself, so kind of this check-in area where George hangs out and where Cuckoo the Parrot hang out. I did this area first and tried to make it look as close as possible, and I was honestly pretty happy with how it turned out. I feel like uh, we have a lot of items that made it look very similar. I was able, I feel like, to get like the proportions of the room right. I did add a couple extra decorations here and there like these filing cabinets and the extra plants on the side, stuff like that. But otherwise, most of the things in this room are things that you can see in the game itself. The tiles were probably the thing that I wanted to change the most, like the floor tiles. I just, I wanted to get them just right and they were kind of close, but oh well. Yeah, this, this happens in our recreations. This is what we know. <laughs> Sometimes you have to make some adjustments to get things to work just right. Uh, just like adding the fish tank over in the corner rather than adding a parrot because we do not have parrots in The Sims 4, so I could not put Cuckoo in. I decided a fish tank um, would kind of get the same idea across that there is uh, living creatures within this space, but uh, we have fish instead of a parrot. So that's just kind of going along with the theme of these recreations. I try to get them as close as possible while still putting my own flair on it. And because this is a rental lot, I did want to make sure that I included um, bedroom and bathroom spaces as well, and a bunch of different activities for Sims to do. So once I branch out of this main lobby area, I start to definitely do things um, more along my own kind of style and what I wanted this build to be. And realistically, there would have to be sleeping quarters somewhere, and there would have to be bathrooms somewhere in this building. So I decided to put them on the top of the lobby. So when you walk around kind of the, the wraparound deck and porch, you go up these stairs, and then there are two kind of hotel-like suites with the island living theme. And I really like how they turned out. I feel like they look very similar to resort... Um, 
hotel rooms that I have stayed in in the past when travel used to be a thing, <laughs> when we used to actually go to different places and stay in hotels. Remember those beautiful times? So I was very happy with how those turned out. I think they look um, nice and authentic and just generally the island living stuff uh, worked really, really nicely for this build. And that is the primary pack that I use. There are a couple other random packs here and there, but island living is very clearly the main pack. Speaking of not being able to travel because of the pandemic, some of you um, will likely already know this if you follow me on Instagram. Yes, the channel is on Instagram, wizardkittenyt on Instagram. If you want to follow the channel there, I do some fun photo series in addition to the videos on here, post some updates on Mel. But anyway, if you follow me on Instagram, then you already know that I did test positive for COVID-19, as did Mr. Wizard Kitten. He actually tested positive first, and then I did a few days later. And it takes a lot out of you. It is... Um, no fun at all. It is really, really awful. It's been a very long recovery. It's kind of lingers. And Mr. Wizard Kitten and I are young, healthy people. So this is definitely something that's very serious. And I just hope that you all are able to stay healthy and safe and hopefully avoid getting this because it's, it's awful. And I can definitely, um, just having experienced it, understand how people who are immunocompromised or people who have uh, respiratory illnesses, how this would be extremely, extremely dangerous for them. I mean, I can feel it in my own, <laughs> in my own chest and I'm again, young and healthy. So please be safe. Please continue to be as healthy as you possibly can. Do whatever you need to, to keep yourself safe. Wear masks, social distance, all that good stuff, because it is, uh, it's scary. It is no fun whatsoever. But we are getting better slowly, but surely. I, <laughs> honestly disappointed because I had a kind of a nice like stash of videos ready and I was feeling all prepared and productive and then I got sick so now I'm behind again but still hopefully able to maintain our once a week schedule. I love um, still being able to get a video guy video for you guys up every Wednesday and then seeing your comments and everything. It, it's always a, um, a nice little moment of my week to be able to see those comments and still interact with you guys. It definitely helps me get through the week, especially on hump day. So thank you so much for still being really engaged with the videos. I'm so glad that you guys enjoy them. It just means a lot to me. So now you just saw that I kind of did the layout for the upper the hotel room spaces and then there, I do this kind of wrap around roofing with the beautiful um, straw I guess it's straw um, the beautiful straw like <laughs> kind of roofing I do that all the way around it took me a while to figure out how I wanted to do this like balcony to the back it is a very small balcony but I also was trying to think about like this is an ecotourism resort so it's not supposed to be super fancy it's not supposed to be all-inclusive and crazy like that it's just supposed to be kind of like a standard normal resort so that's more um the kind of vibe that I was going for even though the rooms are quite nice looking in my opinion I think they look pretty fancy still it's the the wood tones in general the layout the size of everything is more compact and it's a little bit um smaller and cozier so if your sims were to come here like on a honeymoon or something I think this would be a fantastic honeymoon location I am very excited personally to bring some of my own sims here on a honeymoon they can stay in one of these bedrooms you could come here not on a honeymoon and still have it as like a, a family resort or you could come here with like a couple of couple friend sims and th then they could each stay in each room both of the rooms have double beds um, so it's definitely more kind of adult centric than it is kid centric but you could very easily um, still make it kid friendly by just swapping out the double bed for one room with two single beds or three single beds you could probably fit three in there you'd have to do delete some of the other furniture but or you can you know get a tent and have the kids pitch it out in the sand <laughs> it's probably not the nicest thing in the world but I think they would enjoy it personally they could do a little bit of camping they could make sand castles all that good stuff 
I do end up putting um, a lot of outdoor activities too. We do get a sailboat in, which is great because a big part of the mystery is sailing. Instead of a golf cart, I put out a couple of red bikes, which your Sims can still ride around even though it's sand. So it's probably not the most functional thing in the world, especially because they're on, this particular build happens to be on an island. So, you know, there's not a ton of... Um, space for them to bike around <laughs> because they're going to hit water very quickly but um, I still wanted to get the idea of something with wheels some sort of recreational vehicle and the bikes are the closest thing that we have besides the sailboat which goes in the water so there you go I also had a lot of fun doing the landscaping on this one. I just, I think the world of Sulani is so beautiful and I think all of the items that came with the Island Living Pack are very cohesive. Like they all work together so well. I think the sandy kind of expansiveness of the whole island with the pops of green everywhere and then like the colorful flora and the palm trees I just really love all of that so I think I really like how this build ended up looking just um really beautiful like uh, the colors made me very happy so that was nice Rather than having the storage shed, which would have been um, a non-functional object over here, I did decide to put a bar as well. So, and then we have the bikes again to kind of represent the golf cart. So the bar is more functional. Again, your adult Sims can use that to enjoy a party here, to enjoy their honeymoon here, to enjoy a hangout here, whatever your Sims desire. This is actually the same lot too where I built um, my Big Island Mike's Immersion Excursion build. So that would be the um, other kind of tropical game, Creature of Kapu Cave. So <laughs> I just think it's kind of funny that you can very easily swap out. Depending on which uh, style you prefer, you could have Big Island Mike's Immersion Excursion or you could have the Dread Isle Eco Tourism Resort. I think they both um, fit in quite nicely on this particular location. And they both are very similar when it comes to like things to do. They're just, I mean, they're the island tropical kind of games so it makes sense that that would be the case continuing to work on some of the landscaping here I just pulled over a lot of the same plants and then started to add in the beautiful palm trees I like too that um, the sandy lots make it so you don't have to fill up the entire lot with landscaping it's a lot more reasonable for there to be a lot more empty space because it's sand and there wouldn't be a ton of plants growing everywhere, so it makes landscaping a lot less stressful. I enjoyed kind of putting the little pathway that goes out to the dock, because that um, reminded me a lot of the game, and I felt like it looked very similar still. And then I added these umbrellas. When you drive away from the resort itself in the golf cart and you go into the bird's eye view, you can see a couple umbrella tables sitting out in front of the resort. So I definitely wanted to include some umbrella tables that your Sims can sit at. And there's a grill over there, so that's how they would primarily make their food. I think they could grab snacks from the bar as well. But the grill would be the primary way that they would do that. Honestly, the bird's eye view part of Ransom of the Seven Ships is one of the things about it that bothered me the most. It just pulls you out of the immersion of the game so much to all of a sudden be looking at everything from a bird's eye view. Like, Nancy wouldn't be doing that, and it just annoys me so much when the games do that. Um, it's definitely a trend in some of the more renaissance Nancy Drew games and some of the modern Nancy Drew games where they do that a lot more, but it's definitely a pet peeve of mine. It is, it is not my favorite thing in a Nancy Drew game. And it happens a lot in Ransom of the Seven Ships. Like, beyond all of the inappropriate cultural stuff that the game includes and the reasons that it was taken down, it's just, it's the, the puzzles are way too much. And it's, yeah, the, the third person bird's eye view stuff just happens way too much. It, the vibe is totally off because Bess is kidnapped, but nobody seems to care. And you still got this happy music playing in the background. Yeah, it's just, it's not my favorite. 
<laughs> and I can't even make it through a build of it without talking about how I'm not a huge fan. I still definitely, like, play it, because I typically, the way I play the games is I play them in order from beginning to end, although when we get close to um, spring and summer for this uh, year, once 2021 finally arrives, hopefully, <laughs> once this awful, awful year is finished, uh, we will get to do another um, stream series where we go through all the Nancy Drew games, and we will... Um, probably do something that one of you guys suggested which I think is a great idea and do them in order from my least favorite to my favorite game based on my ranking video that I have on YouTube so I like that idea a lot I think that'll be fun and that's a way that I've never played the games before so I am looking forward to that and hopefully you guys are looking forward to that too we all need some things to look forward to in 2021 don't we and oh oh my gosh Another big update for the channel, we are getting some new channel art very soon. One of you extremely talented fellow detectives reached out to me and offered to make new channel art um, for the channel for Wizard Kitten. And I am so pumped. Like the prototypes I've seen already look amazing, you guys. I can't wait for you to see it. And I'm totally gonna um, credit that fellow detective once I get their permission, but they, it's it's looking amazing. You guys are, I'm so excited about it. <laughs> Just the fact that um, we're gonna look more professional, you know? I love it. We're, we're a real YouTube channel now. <laughs> Oh, it's amazing. I'm still just blown away at how how fun it is to get to connect with you guys and enjoy the Nancy Drew games together and the Sims together. I gush about it probably in every build. But now we are moving on to the suites, to the hotel rooms themselves. Um, I just did kind of a simple bathroom using all of the stuff from Island Living. I did kind of wish that I could use a window in the bathrooms because I figured it would be really nice to lay in the bath and then kind of have the window open and enjoy the view. But I also wanted the rooms to be equal and one of the bathrooms would have been able to have a window and one of them would not just based on how they're placed and the layout. So I decided no window, it would be fine. It could still be a very nice cozy space. But the bedrooms themselves have a totally open window kind of concept thing going. And when you look out the windows, you get this beautiful view of the ocean and the mountains and all the foliage going around the island. I just, I love that I was able to make some good use of the view because I think for a vacation home especially, that would be very important, like having a really cool view. I really enjoyed using all of these warm colors too. This is a style that I only ever build with when I'm in Sulani, and I, I feel like I have to be in the mood for it too, but it just turned out um, really, really nicely. I'm really happy with it. So we've got these like orange tones, the deep reds, the rich browns combined with some of like the lighter brown wood tones, the beautiful patterns and textures. I just love how it turned out, but you guys will have to let me know down in the comments what you think of this build. Would you stay here? Um, with this particular one in The Sims or in the one in the Nancy Drew game or in either or both, you'll have to let me know in the comments down below. We are coming up on the screenshots here very soon. Thank you so much for watching this video, fellow detectives. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please feel free to give it a little thumbs up. And if you aren't subscribed to the channel yet, please consider doing so. You can hit the little subscribe button and hit the notification bell to get notifications uh, when I post a new video or when I stream. So we're just adding the finishing touches to the rooms here and heading on to the screenshots. So thank you so much for watching, fellow detectives. I will see you soon.